Welcome back to Stadiums of the World, everyone. I know it's been a long time, but hopefully it's worth the wait. For the first time, we're going international, and we'll be looking at Italian soccer stadium today. I'm very excited to share this with you, and I hope you're excited to check this stadium out with me today. So let's strap in. We are in Milan, Italy. Today we'll be touring San Siro Stadium, one of the most famous stadiums in all of the world, and home of AC Milan and Inter Milan soccer teams. Every photo you see today was taken by me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and write in the comment section what you like about this stadium. And with that, let's start the tour. San Siro opened up in 1926 with a capacity of 35,000 to 40,000 fans. The current capacity is 80,018 with 75,817 seats. When I viewed this stadium, it reminded me of an SEC football stadium in the United States. It's very impressive. Before I get too far on the tour though, I would like to point out this tour is in English, but I would also like to welcome our Italian friends along with us on the tour. This stadium is very tall, and to give a little perspective and a couple numbers just on how large this stadium is, the four main towers of the stadium are 68.5 meters tall, or 225 feet. The seating height goes all the way up to 47 meters, or 155 feet above the field. The intermediate spiral towers you see in this photo that are located between the four main towers are 33.3 .3 meters or 110 feet tall. Those are a few numbers on just you know how large this stadium is. What is actually the most iconic part of the stadium and what really makes it stand out is the roof structure above. You can really see it in this photo, but the roof structure only covers the fans and not the field, and that's very common for a lot of soccer stadiums in Europe. The concept of the roof layout itself in Europe is not that unique. What is very unique about this roof structure you can see in this photo, and it's the large cantilevers shown in red. The stadium is located in the San Siro district of Milan, and that's where it gets its name from. Circling back to the history of the stadium, in 1939, the four quarters, corners of the stadium were infilled, bringing the capacity of the stadium up to 55 to 60,000 fans. In 1956, the stadium was refurbished and the second tier of seating was opened, which brought the capacity up to 83,000, with 60,000 of it being seats. In 1990, a third tier of seating was added along with the roof, and the stadium was brought up to 85,700 seats. Today, the stadium has three tiers of seating on three of the four sides. You can see from this photo that one of the sides does not have a third tier seating, and you can look out on the upper tier and you can see Milan in the distance. One of the benefits of only having the roof cover the fans and not the field is it allows the field to be natural grass, which is really nice, unlike some of the NFL stadiums in the U.S., which has artificial turf. Two teams play at this stadium, like I mentioned before, AC Milan and Inter Milan, and each one of them has their own locker room. We'll start off by looking at AC Milan's. This is a view inside AC Milan's locker room, very different than the NFL stadiums that I've seen in the US. It doesn't actually have any real lockers, which I thought was interesting. This is Inter Milan's locker room. Kind of the opposite of AC Milan's, you know, AC Milan had a lot of logos. This has really had no logo except for the little tiny logo on the locker. These have very small individual lockers where AC Milan didn't have any lockers. So it's very interesting to see the difference between the two. Moving on from the locker rooms, I think it's only natural to show where the players walk out. So this is the tunnel that AC Milan walks out onto the field. This is a view from the field level, just showing the tunnel where they, they come up from, and this is where they enter the field from. This is a view showing where the players and special guests of the team sit during the game. The right side of the screen is where AC Milan players sit, and then as you go down the line to the left is where the special guests sit. This is a view of the field from those seats. So you're very close to the action. Great, great seating, obviously. You're, you're right there and then it's covered as well. This is a view of the walkway that's located right behind where the players and those special guests sit. And this is a view just on the other side of that walkway. So on one side you have the seating and the field and then on the other side of the walkway you have this room. 
1899 Club has suites and it has sky boxes and ground boxes as well. They have a museum at the stadium just outside of it. If you take a tour of the stadium, that's where you'll meet. And they have all sorts of jerseys. And this is where this replica was located. They have several, several replicas of the stadium. So I definitely go check that out if you go take a tour. If you take a tour, this is the second museum on the tour. This one's all dedicated to the Italian national team. And this is just a great view showing some of the, the framing off within the stadium. In addition to the spiral towers of ramps they have around the stadium, they also have these ramps you can see here that wrap around the seating itself. And it just gives it an incredible look. And like I said, it reminds me of an FCC stadium in the U.S. And it just, it really adds to the architecture, I think. Another thing I think that really stands out to this stadium is, you know, the seating is different colors throughout. You don't have a generic color scheme where it's not, you know, some stadiums they have, you know, all, all silver or maybe they, it's painted all black. This one, different sections are different colors. So on one end, you can see here it's all green. And on the opposite end of the stadium, all the seating is blue. I'll let you look into that and see what the different color sections mean and, you know, who sits in, the, in those different colors. All of the seating in the stadium is chairback seating, which is nice. There's no bleacher seating. You can tell from this photo, though, that the seating is getting somewhat old, though. It's not, it's not like Fenway Park or anything like that, but you can start to see the age on the seating. So a lot of the seating in the stadium is red, and then you also have the blue and green that we mentioned. Another section of seating, though, is actually black, and that's located basically mid midfield of the stadium. The black seating is reserved for the owner of the teams. You, you know, I think of like Ted Lasso and they always show those scenes and the owner's kind of up in that seating and in this area is reserved for, you know, the owner and then people, you know, that are in association with the owner of the team. This is a view from some of the red seating, lower level, just showing that, you know, the seating is very close to the field, great seats, you know, there's no track or anything like that, which you may see in some college football stadiums. So I, I think there's really not a bad seat in the house. You can just see, see it from here. This is a view of the field right behind the goals. There's actually field level seating right behind from where this photo was taken. And this is a view of the seating that was located right behind the photo I just took a minute ago of the field. In addition to AC Milan and Inter Milan playing at this stadium, I just want to point out that the Italian national team has also played here. Sadly, they've proposed building a new stadium. I really do hope it doesn't happen. They talked about it having having it done already and it's been pushed back, so maybe 2026, 27, thinking about it. But I, I really hope that they keep San Siro. Every video, I like to throw in a photo of myself at the stadium. It just shows that I was actually there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like I said before, write in the comment section what stadium you want me to do next. This brings us towards the end of our tour. I just want to end the video today saying the next stadium on our list that I plan on doing next is very exciting. Uh, I think this one's cool, but I'm really excited for the next one. It's it's very unique. It's, it's one of my favorites of all time. So I hope you uh, stick around, check out the next video, and until next time, take care.